Hello and welcome to Piano with Des. In this episode, we're going to talk about posture. This is really important. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, my, my hat. Big shout out to A. Basin. That's what the little symbol is. The reason I'm wearing the hat is because I tell my students all the time about how playing an instrument is like being an athlete or doing any sort of physical activity sport. Snowboarding, that's what I do at A Basin, and it's totally fun. But I have to think about my form, my posture, in order to not die on the mountain. <laughs> Same thing with piano. Maybe we're not afraid of dying, but in order to play without hurting ourselves or straining ourselves, we have to have a good posture. First things first, let's start with our backs our whole trunk of the body. With our backs, we want a straight back. You don't have to be super stiff, like or anything like that, but you just want a nice straight back so you feel supported, right? You don't wanna be like, like this or like that. You know, you'll fall over or whatever. I have a little back to my chair. Most of the time, you won't have a back. You'll have like a little bench, all right? So you just wanna make sure that you're supported. Nice straight back, typically, right over your, your hips, right? And then with your legs, you wanna make sure that it's pretty much a 90 degree angle, like this. Bent legs are always the best. You don't, again, you don't wanna like be flopping your legs around or like sit and cross it, cross-legged or something weird like that. Feet. And look, I'm gonna show off my little sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> um, mainly, you just want your feet flat on the ground. Now, I don't know if you noticed, here we go. My little, little pedal guy. This is where it's super important that you have your feet on the ground. So you have a connection with something stable and sturdy. See how my, my heel is on the floor so that the front part of my foot eventually will use the pedal. We won't use it today but uh, <laughs> that I can just press it like that. It's not like my whole leg going after the pedal. But for right now, we're gonna say goodbye to the pedal, bring this keyboard back, feet flat on the ground, legs nice and, and bent like this, relatively 90 degree angle, sitting on your, your booty, <laughs> and a nice strong straight back. Let's talk about our Hands, that's what we use to play the keyboard. So often what I see from my students is we give in to gravity, right? Gravity pulls us to the ground. When they put their hands on the, on the keyboard, it's just like they want to hang like this. That's a big, big no-no. What we want to th look for is our hand position, kind of like a C or if you wanna make little binoculars like that. What happens when I make a little C? Or if you just like kinda of hang your hands naturally. Here we go. Get all the different angles here, or front like this. If I just like let my hands hang. There, now look at that autofocus. You see, my hands are nice and, and bent. My, my fingers are kinda of naturally curved, right? So I'm just gonna gently lower my hands to the keyboard and see what happens. My hands are nice and curved. If I give in to gravity too much, whoa, look what happens. My fingers go really straight, my wrists are below the keys, and it's just bad. Those are the big things. You wanna make sure your wrists stay right above the keys. Your fingers are curved. Look at your thumb and pointer finger. It's kind of a C, a little bit of a C, right? So that's what you're looking for there. How does that affect the thumbs? Main thing when you're playing on the, on the piano, there we go, you're gonna be playing on the fingertips like that. The thumb can't really <laughs> play on the finger, on the thumb tip too much because otherwise it's like this weird claw thing. So I call it the side tip of my thumb, like this. And when I do that, then the rest of these fingers can stay curved. A little different angle. So not the complete tip, but the side tip of the thumb. When I do that, then the other fingers can curve like this. I'll show it on, on the keyboard. So like this, side tip. Keeps my wrist right above the keys, the rest of the fingers nice and curved. If I play too much on the tip, well, that just looks funny. And then if I play too flat on the thumb, then my wrist goes down immediately. You see that? 
Let me play a little example of a good hand position <laughs> with the wrists above the keys, just above, not too high, curved fingers and side tip of the thumb. Here's an excerpt by Mozart. This is with a good hand position with the wrists above the keys and playing on the side tip of my thumb. Now here's poor hand position. I'm gonna just give in to gravity. <laughs> See, my wrists are really low and my fingers are kind of straight. And let's see how well I play this, this Mozart now. I'll try my best. <laughs> it didn't sound terrible, but you heard that it was like a little hesitant. I like wasn't super clean. And honestly, my forearms feel a little bit fatigued from that because I had to like really force my fingers down. When you give into gravity and your arms and your wrists are below the keys, you're not using your natural arm weight. Everything is coming from the fingers. Have your wrists above the keys so you can use your arm weight to depress the strings or the strings, the keys. <laughs> That's my spiel about posture. Thank you so much. I hope to catch you in the next one. Happy practicing. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our website, descoremedia.com, and our Instagram page, at descoremedia, for additional content. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below, and if there's a topic you'd like us to cover, please let us know. We look forward to making more videos like this, so stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.